Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a DynamoDB table by using Terraform. This is part of the infrastructure as a code series that I'm working on and you can find the rest of the videos in the channel's playlist. You can find the link in the description of this video. But first, what is a DynamoDB? DynamoDB is an AWS service which allows us to create tables. These tables are non-SQL tables, uh, so you cannot use a select or delete in a regular way. Uh, but what is important about DynamoDB is that it is optimized for performance. And also you can store all the, the items in a JSON format, so it is very, very easy to manage. Uh, so, as I mentioned, these, these tables are optimized for performance, so if you have an application or a video game where you want to publish all the ranking on a real time, and this is a very good option, so you to store all the information and display it in, in, display it in a real time, because it is very, very fast to, to access it. Okay. As you can see here, I'm on, on the AWS console. I'm going to go to the tables menu here and I don't have any table at the moment. But for that, I already have the main.tf that I'm, I will use to create a new table. Um, as I mentioned in the other videos, here is the Terraform section, which is about the providers. This is a required option since uh, Terraform on version one. And then we have the provider section itself, which I'm specifying AWS. Here you can specify, specify the keys if you want, but it, it is not secure, so I, I am not recommending this. You can use it in a different way, or you can use the credential file. Here we, we have the resource block, and I'm using the AWS DynamoDB table module, and the resource name, will be this one, basic table HATEC. But this is different, I mean, this name is different than the actual table. This only refers to the resource itself in Terraform. But this one is how the table will be named in AWS. Also, you can specify the billing mode, you can specify another configurations for the table, like the, the read capacity, write capacity, and the hash key, this will be the primary key, let's say, for this table. And you can specify this attribute here. And you need to reference for, for that one in this section. Let me show you. For instance, if I have this uh, table demo. Okay, table demo. Then here I need to specify also the same name. Then you, you can specify the time to live option here, the TTL, and also the tags. As you remember, as a best practice, you always should have, or you, you always should use tags in your infrastructure in the cloud. So you can organize or identify every single of them it will be very useful for you to, to manage them. Let's say I want to, to change the environment to test and the name, I don't know, for sample table, but this is only a tag. The actual table name will be this one. So I'm going to save the changes and I'm going to run the Terraform init so I can initialize the backend and download all the required modules, specifically the AWS one. Uh, you may need to update your your previous module, so you you may want to, to execute this one. Then I'm going to execute Terraform plan to check my TF file that everything that is going to be created is fine. As you can see there is no problem. Here is one to be added. Okay, and finally, I'm going to do the Terraform apply with the with the option auto approve, and I'm going to wait until this is completed. Okay, it just finished. As you can see, the the command is success. So I'm going to go back to the 
to the console and if I refresh it now the table is here as you can see here this partition key is a table demo ID that I changed in the in the TF file this one so as you can see we are already provisioned this configuration directly from Terraform here I don't have any well you can see the metrics there as you can see and you can explore the table items but obviously this is empty because I don't have any yet but this is how you can create a DynamoDB table by using Terraform I hope uh, this, this information helps you and this is all for this video please subscribe to the channel and let me know your comments thanks